Alhamdulillah. Wassalatu wassalam ala Rasulullah. Wa ala ala wa sabi ajma'in amma ba'd. A'udhu billahi mina shaitan al-rajim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. May peace, mercy and blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be on all of you. The topic of today's talk is Quran, the impact on humanity. What the Quran has mentioned and through the verses of the Quran, what the Muslims has implemented in our daily life. Today, we are going to be speaking about a very important point verse of the Quran and the solution that the Muslim try to find and the help that today each and every individual are having in our life. Allah says in the Quran in Surah to Nisa chapter 4 verse number 59 Allah says Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu ati Allah wa ati on Rasul O you who believe, obey Allah and obey his messenger. So the Quran has commanded the Muslims to follow the Quran fully and at the same time to follow the teaching of our beloved Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. The Prophet peace be upon him has a unique example for people to follow. As a leader, one of his unique example is that he the prophet many a times when he has he want to find a solution to a particular problem he did not do it because he is a leader he just put the problem out there so that his him and his companions will find a solution all together and one of the famous that many Muslims know is about our Azan, the call to prayer that we have is to us through such. And the companions, the Sahaba, they follow the Sunnah even after he passed away. They did not stop following the sunnah after the prophet peace upon him pass away they always follow the sunnah the footsteps of the prophet allah says in the quran in surah to bakara chapter 2 verse number 144 allah says that wherever you are when you want to perform salah face towards Kaaba face towards Kaaba so Kaaba is our Qibla Qibla in Arabic means direction so Kaaba is our direction so it is compulsory on every Muslim in the world today to follow one direction that is to have our Qibla follow by what the Quran has said and to follow one particular direction that is to follow the Kaaba to face towards the Kaaba and imagine today even most of the places it become some small argument about where to face and how we could do it compared to seven centuries back and the eight centuries it was super difficult the quran has about 114 chapters and more than 6000 verses but this particular verse of the quran it was super difficult for the people at that time the sahaba to follow when they go outside arabia when they are outside Arabia, Arabian Peninsula, it become it became more super difficult to follow this particular verse. So each Muslim, 
at that time was trying to find a solution to the problem that they are having when they travel far from where we call Mecca. And as we know that the Quran is a letter that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has sent to mankind. And each individual has his own background, academic background, his profession. So when the Quran comes to you and you read it, how you will understand it based on your particular academic background, the field that you are the best at. So in the early 8th centuries, there was a man, his name is Muhammad Al-Fazari. He was a mathematician. He was the one who introduced angular scales to the astrolabe, adding a circle indicating azimuth on the horizon, chiefly as an aid to navigation and as a way finding the Qibla, Alhamdulillah, and the direction to the prayer of Mecca, Alhamdulillah. Astrolab were also used to finding the time of the sunrise and the rising of fixed stars to schedule the morning salah, morning prayer. Because at that time there was no watch, there was no time. That there was no watch to look at that time to know particular time to pray. This particular mathematical background was established by Al Batani. But if you go to school, the colleges, universities, they call him Al Batanius. Today, even NASA has acknowledged the fact and they have named the moon after him, said he is the creator. Of the moon, the crater Albatanius. Imagine that in the seven centuries back, someone want to find a solution to the problem that the Muslim has. That is uh, the solution to the verse of the Quran, and he did it. And today, NASA, the whole NASA has acknowledged the fact that and attribute the whole moon to him that he created the moon this shows that whenever we read the quran we have to find a solution to the problem of humankind we have to find a solution to the problems that we have in our communities so the quran is mainly to help to find to solve the problem that mankind are having this is what the solution that one of the solution that this verse of the Quran has brought. And the other solution, if you will see, if the time come and we speak about that, it will blow your mind. Alhamdulillah, this particular series that we are doing, we have our YouTube channel Islamic Youth Foundation and please subscribe to the channel like and share at the same time we have our Facebook page Islamic Youth Foundation you can also call us test us on WhatsApp and it is our WhatsApp group number plus three nine three five one one nine one six six seven five my name is abdul malik subhanaka allahumma wa bihamdika nashadu wa ilaha illa anta nastakfiruka wa atubu ilayh assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh